Hey everyone, Robert Fedorik here. Welcome back to my channel. It is so good to have you here. Today, I am going to show you some Navigator Bar hacks that will be a game changer for you if you don't know them already. These hacks are so useful and so easy to remember. Let's just get right to it. Hack number one, dot form. So generally what happens when you wanna create a new record is that you search the Navigator Bar for the module to take you there. So here I am typing in incident and I'm unlucky because incident is a keyword that is used so many times across so many different modules, it makes the navigator bar almost useless. You might also have the opposite problem where the thing you want isn't even on the navigator bar. And that's where dot form comes into play because if you know the table name, you can always get to the form, whether or not it's on the navigator bar. So here I put incident dot form and when I hit enter, it takes me to the incident form and it renders the default version of that form for the table and initiates it just like any other incident. So it's already populated an incident number, set all the default values for all the fields and you're ready to go. But wait, there's more. If I write form in all caps, instead of opening the form, it's gonna open up the form in a new tab, which is super useful. Yeah, but Robert, can't you use dot do? Yeah, you can. I just find dot form easier to remember. And for some reason, when you put dot do in caps, it doesn't open it in a new tab. It actually doesn't do anything at all. So, hack number two. Dot list. So only some of what we do is adding records to tables. A lot of what we do is look for records to modify. And so to do that, we have to have lists. Same problems as before, either the navigator bar is too packed or the navigator bar is completely empty. And that's what we use dot list for. Here I put incident dot list and when I hit enter, I'm brought to the incident list. Super handy for finding those administrative tables that don't necessarily have a presence on the navigator bar. And just like last time, we put list in all caps and it opens it up in a new tab. Oh yeah! Hack number three, dot filter. Sometimes you wanna list records in a table, but sometimes the table might be huge and you don't wanna go for a raw list in case you're concerned about performance against the system. Maybe, God help you, you wanna look at the sysaudit table. In my case, I'm just gonna look at the task SLA table. So I've got task underscore SLA dot filter written into my nav bar. And that opens up the list, but it doesn't query. It just has the list ready for you to add conditions to. So in this case, I might say created on last three months, run, and I've been able to narrow down significantly the list of records before it actually went to the database to query. Huge potential performance saver when you want to look at lists for huge tables that aren't necessarily on the navigator. And just like last time, you put filter in all caps and it opens a new tab. Last hack, doc config. If you ever been in the situation where you wanted to know all the different ServiceNow configurations that were based on a certain table, I'm talking business rules, dictionary entries, ACLs, client scripts, UI actions, whatever. You want to know everything about a certain table. Using table name doc config, you can get that straight from the navigator bar. Here I put in sys underscore user underscore group. That is the group table. And I just put doc config on the end of that. And I get this special config interface that gives me business rules, client scripts, dictionary entries, dictionary entry overrides, notifications, UI actions, the whole gamut. This is a spectacular tool for trying to deconstruct custom applications, modules you don't know about. It's just a fantastic tool and it's easily accessible from the navigator bar, table name, doc config. And just like earlier, you put doc config in all caps, it opens in a new tab. That's all I got for you today. Have fun navigating ServiceNow like a boss. If you're a ServiceNow expert looking for better opportunities, but maybe your resume or LinkedIn profile isn't doing you justice, reach out to me via LinkedIn or the email pictured here as I offer both career coaching and recruitment services. And if you're a ServiceNow customer or partner, you heard that right. Robert Fedorik now does ServiceNow recruiting. With a 1500 subscriber YouTube channel and mailing list and thousands of LinkedIn followers, let's make sure your open positions get first go at the prodigious pool of ServiceNow resources. Reach out via the email pitcher here.